Describe to our viewers uh, just exactly what do you do? Well, Black Moses is more it's more of like a, a outlet for me to uh, kind of do poetry, be kind of like kind of uplift more or less brothers. You know what I'm saying? You black men, you know, not only black men, but men of all race, creed, and color. Uh, I use a Black Moses because I want people to really kind of understand the reason why I'm using Black Moses. You know, Moses in the Bible was kind of like led people out of Egypt. So I really feel in these end times, I feel like I'm the 21st century Moses. So it had to be a little gimmick where I'm going to use it to get it across to the masses. So I use Black Moses. You know what I'm saying? The reason why I said Black Moses, I spell it B L K. Yeah. That's the reason I spell it B L K because I want people to understand it. It is simply means I'm a simply a believer like King Moses. Okay. B L K Black Moses. Black Moses. Get it. The only thing I'm doing is really just telling my circumstances, situations, how I get through my everyday circumstance. You know what I'm saying? Believing in God. You know. It's kind of trying, kind of like. Not trying to get too religious, you know what I'm saying? It's really good people. Spiritual. Yeah, it's, it's definitely spiritual. spiritual. Definitely spiritual, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's really trying to call people back to accountability. Yes. You know, it's kind of time off for religion. You know, we done read, we done read Bible books from decades past, from, you know, from the Bible, from the Quran to the Torah. It, it all doesn't matter. But when it comes down to your one-on-one -on -one experience with God, you really it's time off for religion. So I kind of help people bring that back to with the essence of just trying to treat people like you want to be treated. You know what I'm saying? You read what you saw. Golden rule. Read what you saw, you know. So a positive attitude, you know, always, you know what I'm saying? Uh, be careful with the things you say, you know what I'm saying? That is a, a real big factor, you know. Uh, it's, just, it's, it's just a whole new thing going on right now. Right now, we're in a time right now where economics, it really got people in a, a depressed state without you know, finances not really being available. So you're having to start to really find creative ways to get through your circumstances and situations. So I think it's kind of a good thing in a sense because it, it allows you to start digging within yourself, your talents. Start putting them without yourself talents that you, you know, uh, that God has installed in you. Okay. Um, so how long have you been uh, performing and uh, sharing your gift of spoken word with people? Well, spoken word is kind of new. You know, I was, in a, I was in a religious platform in the church. I was mentioning a youth minister. You know what I'm saying? I've been able military for a while. I served like four years in Desert Storm, Desert Storm Vet. Okay. And then in that, in that platform, it used me to kind of like see and minister to different people. When people say minister, I'm not really saying minister. I'm really trying to like get through our circumstances, man. You know, hard times is really ministering. You know what I'm saying? And I'm a true believer that God says whenever there's two or more, I got in my name. I'm in the midst of it. And I'm not being no church setting. You know what I'm saying? Without the God I believe in, he's a 24-hour God. You know, it's Amen, God, he, I mean, he's a... He's Monday through Sunday, you know what I'm saying? So I kind of get people in a situation where, you know, you're not, you're not in that, that comfort zone where you got to put on this, this, uh, this facade of, like, yeah. you know, of holier than now. Because when you're down on it sometimes, people just really need, just really need somebody to know they can really trust in without putting on a, a title. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I so, agree with you, man. I use, that, I use that spoken word porch as an outlet kind of like, you know, get to the mass. Because I know a lot of cats such as myself in the streets, you know, so they're not going to go into these visible called churches. And so I use the music as a platform. I use the music as a platform to, you know, trying to catch their attention. You know, so my CD has a variety of blues tracks, rap tracks, R&B tracks, some with music, some without music. And so I kind of get all generations, old generation to the to the youth, you know what I'm saying? So cool. make sure no, nobody's not missing out on nothing, you feel me? So no excuses, it's just all accountability. You either you get it or you don't get it. And so uh, one thing we one thing we all do before we get off into our want us to make understand that, you know, this whole gimmick we're doing, uh, black men itself, you know, we are call everybody call itself thugs these days. Thugs, especially yep. the youth. So, in my in my calling, being you know, I am, I do really believe I am the 21st century black Moses, and I am, I'm in these streets. I'm in the streets where you know a lot of passion and religion can't go because of a title or because of fear of certain things they can't do. You know, so I go into these streets with these so-called thugs, and I change that image. God says, flip that whole image and tell people that, see, they're looking for thugs. No, I'm looking for true, holy, unorthodox gangsters, Gentiles, you know what I'm saying, or gentlemen, you feel me? So that covers all the three Gs. You saw gangsters out there in the streets, you got Gentiles out there, you know, religious, and you got gentlemen out there. So those are the true thugs out there. They're holy, they're unorthodox, because they didn't conform to religion, so they're doing their own thing. You know what I'm saying? They're able just to do them. God created us, he created us all uniquely made. 
You know, you got your own talents. I got my own talents. But we're able to link up. You know what I'm saying? For like we're all here today. For today one represents. Common, for, one, for one common goal. Today, you being here today represents uh, an aspect of us linking up. Yeah. And yeah. just sharing our talents with people yeah. who uh, who don't have access to things that we do. Right. And uh, cause I do feel like this platform of the show is a blessing. And I mean, I'm not, like you said, I'm not uh, um, calling up into religion, more or less spirituality, because, yeah. um, you know, I think that the medium of television is powerful within itself. Right, 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 and I do right, respect right, right. The, the power that it has, because I don't know who's, I don't know who's watching. Hi, mom. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who's watching, but uh, you know, we have fun, you know, doing the show. But we also like to bring uh, awareness to serious issues and uh, issues that people can relate to. And uh, as a matter of fact, I, I was uh, listening to the radio last week, and I heard uh, one of your tracks come on uh, with Fiona. Shouts out to Fiona. Fiona showed me a lot of bad love, and I, I really appreciate it because it's hard to kind of get your your music out there, you know. And really, I don't really call. When I have music, I call it soul food. You know what I'm saying? So I really appreciate her putting me out there like that because uh, it, it allows that seed to be sown. You know, and the main thing about it is it really, it's just trying to bring everybody together, regardless of re religion, you know, organization, whatever like it. If we're just able to just come together as one and link together, you know what I'm saying, we can get a lot of things done. You know what I'm that's, saying? That's cool. That's cool. So you will be performing a piece for us today? Yeah, I'm going to perform that living testimony, which is on the CD. You know what I'm saying? But one thing I'm going to do different today, I'm going to perform an acapella so you can really get a feel for it without the music. You know what I'm saying? That'll work. So, all right, ladies do. and gentlemen. So, all right, ladies do. and gentlemen, um, viewers out there, the one or two, three people I just talked about. <laughs> yep, yep. But uh, we'll be right back with Black Moses performing Living Testimony. Yeah. Black Moses, the soul reaper. The title of this project right here is called Living Testimony. My flesh was relaxed when the spirit of the Lord began to speak. Ohio's heart ate from souls locked up in these unforgiving streets. His words was humbling, but the conviction was bold. You too are your brother's keeper and responsible for souls. And on this day, with every breath that I give you to speak, you will open ears wide and lift heavy burdened eyes to see that broken hearts will be comforted and those held captive set free. See, I'd be wrong if I didn't tell you doubt was creeping up in full force. Fearing rejection by the way I'm using my voice, you know, to preach word, spoken word, However you put it, God's word. Lord says, son, this method is just a tool. One in many laced with spirit filled, BK grooves. See, you're a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, boldly speaking things into existence as I knew you would. Not fearing a challenge or wondering where to begin, See, you're a bondage breaker that'll help bring these generational curses to an end. A living testimony, overcoming obstacles by the things you say and do. Power from on high to put to death or speak life into. A living testimony, can you feel the glory on the inside running deep? Being able to produce life just from the words we speak. And with this mic, my Lord placed in my hand, you know, I pray to encourage you to keep moving mountains, you know, your everyday circumstance. By keeping our eye on our character and watching what we say to the people we meet, that's what we determine whether we're dedicated to really redeeming souls off these unforgiving streets. Black Moses, the soul reaper, continue to take back what Satan stole because I found that it's cheaper. One love, peace. <laughs> 